you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar. I was improvising there at the end. I wasn't planning on doing those. That was totally improvised. I wasn't planning on doing that, but we're going to keep it in here. So today I have a request from my Insider All Access member, Andy from Germany. And he was asking me, Henry, I want to learn how to play Boom 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 by Johnny Lee Hooker, right? So Johnny Lee Hooker, you know, he has his own style. It's the blues, pure blues, as you know, we know it, the, the definition of blues. So Andy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you and all of my other students how to play a couple of these basic, these basic things that, that he typically does. And then I'm also going to show you ways that you could kind of improvise and come up with your own things like I just did at the end. That little that little thing I did at the end there was totally improvised, right? I wasn't even planning on doing it. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that too, okay? So this is a lesson um, where I'm going to be teaching you a couple of concrete licks and then I'm also going to be showing you how to make your own licks, okay? So it's a double lesson, lucky for you guys. All right, so before we get into the lesson, and also for my All Access members, I should say, I'm gonna have a tab in there. So that intro that I just played is gonna be tabbed out for you guys who are my All Access members on the UR1, and that's gonna be in the lesson of the week area of the membership, okay? Also, those of you who are not yet members and maybe wanna become a member, when you join, I ship this to you straight to your doorstep without any hidden shipping fees or anything. You get this as a gift, I send it to you, I sign it, um, and if you don't want to become a member and get all of that extra stuff, then I'll just um, give you the download, the PDF download totally for free as well. That's it, my website. The link is either above or below me. All right, let's get into this little lesson now. Let me show you how to play this really cool style of blues, okay? Alrighty, so welcome to the close-up. So first of all, I'm using my fingers to play this. You could use a pick and do hybrid picking but I would recommend using your fingers because you can get a nice bluesy kind of plucky sound if you use your fingers. Um, so I would recommend doing that. And the only rule that I normally kind of have when I'm playing with my fingers is my thumb is always responsible for the sixth, fifth, and fourth string. My first finger is always responsible for the third string, middle finger second string, and ring finger first string. So that's kind of how I keep um, things nice and tidy and organized, right? So it's not always a question of what finger to use at any certain time. You always know exactly, all right, third string, it's this finger. Fourth string is my thumb, right? So you have that kind of um, certainty of what finger belongs where, right? And that really helps, you know? Okay, so that's the first thing. Now let me show you the first little lick here, okay? So now we're gonna be learning really like a concrete lick. Let me play it for you. All right, so that's how we're going to be starting it off. So let me just do it really slowly and explain it to you now step by step. So what I'm doing now with my middle finger, I'm on the third string, second fret, and I'm sliding in to the fourth fret, okay? So then I'm going down here to the second string, third fret, so that's, okay, so. And then very fast, I'm sliding back from the fourth fret to the second fret. So it's this really fast slide back, all right? It's not, it's this like stellar, like it almost didn't happen, but it did, okay? So you're gonna have to practice that a little bit. So all together, really slowly. And then I do a pull off at the end, okay? So when I slide back, when I'm done, I do a pull off, okay? So that's, Okay, and now to end it, I'm playing the fourth string, second fret, doing a pull off, and then coming back down and playing it again. So, actually, I'm doing a hammer on when I come back. Okay, so, so that means with my right hand, I'm only playing it once, doing a pull off, and then hammering back on. So, So 
that's the first little lick. And now let me show you this kind of main theme that happens after every lick that you play, okay? So to play this now, it's kind of like an E going to a G and then going to A and back to E. So without confusing you, what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm barring down on the fourth and the fifth string, second fret, and I'm playing the open sixth string, okay? So that's six, five, four. And with my, with my fingers, I'm just slapping down on them. So I have this little circle here, and I'm just slapping down. I'm using my fingernail, you know, to just be like a pick. Okay, so and then I'm instantly quieting the strings again. Okay, so and then it goes to this next note. So that's this E power chord thing, right? Going to the sixth string, third fret. So and then we're gonna do the same thing that we did on E, just one string set further down. So now I'm borrowing down on the third and the fourth string, and I'm playing the open fifth string, which is giving me an A. Right, so, so, do, 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 okay, so that's E to this note G here, which we play alone, down to the A, and then back to the E, so, bum, 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 bum. If that's too hard for you, you could also just play the bass note, so the open E to the third fret, to the open A, and then end it with the open E. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Okay. But I like to fatten it up a little bit by going. Okay. All right, so to put it all together now into context for you. So that's one, you know, just like fixated way that you could play it. And now, of course, I'm going to encourage you later on in this lesson to do your own thing with it. I'm going to give you some ideas how to do it. But this is one kind of staple sound that you'll hear in the in the song. OK, um, playing along with the original is really kind of hard because you can't hear it clearly. And he's just he's a raw blues dude. You know, it's all just hanging out. It's not clean. You know, it's really just messy, you know? So I'd recommend doing your own thing with it, you know, and then playing it that way, rather than trying to do it as a play along with the original, because that's just not, it's not easy, because it's so raw and yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyways. That's where we are now. So another thing that you could do now is just. So I just hit the third string. I did a pull off, I hammered on, and I did a pull off again. So, and then I did the same thing here. I hit it, I pulled it, and I came back down. So, just here on this fourth string, it was a little bit shorter. So, pluck, pull, hammer, pull. Pluck, hammer, pull, hammer. So, theme comes in after every single lick you do. So this is one that you're really going to want to learn and master very well. Okay, so another cool thing that you could do is do a little bend up on the third string, right? And the cool thing about that is we're bending into the blue note now, which is giving us that really cool bluesy sound. So, so I did a little bend up. Then I just choked it off when I was at the top. Then I hit the open second string. Then I came back to this string, did a pull off. And then our main little thing that always happens here is this. So hitting it, pulling it, hammering down. Right, so. You could let it ring as well. You could go up. And 
that's giving you some serious blues sound there. It sounds like it's wrong, but it's right, right? Because we're playing the blues. So, lots of different possibilities. Again, experiment with these things. Okay, so that's kind of, those are the two main things that I wanted to show you. And now what I want to show you, um, or three things I guess I've shown you so far, is um, how you could now create your own little licks, okay? So the main themes in here are this, right, and... So let me explain what I mean with this. So after every little, after every little comes this little thing, or like we did before, this always happens. Okay, or the, the third thing that I showed you, right? After every little thing that happens, we end it with this. Right, so, so, what we're going to be trying to do now is if you know the pentatonic scale and if you know the second position pentatonic scale we're going to start with those two for now. If you know those two scales then you know that now you have all of these notes here at your disposal. You also have the open notes. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do now is create any little thing here. So let me let me demonstrate. So that might not have been the most beautiful example, but what I was trying to do is do this little any note thing and then end it with this. Okay. So let me give you an example that hopefully will sound a little bit better. So So any little random, it's hard for me to come up with ideas now that I'm talking, but when I get into my flow of playing, then ideas start to come. So what I want you, what I want to encourage you to do is play along, make up some little look of your own, and then end it with this. Improvising now, but that's what I want and encourage you to do. And then you'll find things and you'll be like, oh wow, that sounds really cool. And then you can try to apply that. You could also leave this out and do. Right? So any little lick that you can come up with using the, the notes in the pentatonic scale are going to sound really cool if you just end it with the right that's how he's coming up with them right so if we stick to these themes and we know where these notes are then it's really easy to you know become a real blues player are on our own right because blues is about improvising and about coming up with bluesy sounding things to play right so Knowing the first two pentatonic shapes So what I was doing now is I was combining notes. I was playing except instead of one I was playing two at the same time Right and then I was just ending it with that bum, 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 bum. Right another thing that I said before you could do would be end it with this and then go into this okay so that's your homework now I hope I have given you some tools and some ideas of course the more you know the pentatonic the five shapes of the pentatonic the further down you could go you could go right so the the, the more you know the five shades of the pentatonic, the more possibilities you're going to have to, to play different little cool ideas in between this, this riff, okay? 
So I hope I didn't go too much on, on, on tangent here, but this is how I tend to think about music and improvisation and coming up with original ideas. And that's normally what I, what I love to teach, you know, because that's what the tradition of the blues is, in my opinion. You know, it's not guys learning licks, it's guys feeling something and taking it to the guitar and, you know, getting into a flow and coming up with cool ideas, you know. So experiment with this, play with this. I hope that it has inspired you. I hope that it has helped you and let me know how it goes. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing your original take on some of these ideas, all right? Okay, Henry Olsen here, see you later. All right, I hope you liked this lesson. I hope it made sense. If you wanna see more of my lessons, make sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Make sure to download that picture chord book. It's, there's a lot of very valuable information in there that I'm sure is going to help you get better at the guitar. All right, I'll see you in another lesson very soon. Henry Olsen here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.